Me and Reese have always uh, worked together well because we've uh, always liked different parts of creating electronic music. Basically, I like doing bass lines and uh, sequences. And um, Reese is the sample master and he likes doing keyboard strings. And so I think between that, we, uh, you know, we each stay away from each other's territories and I think it works out perfect. We never feel like we have to, uh, you know, struggle to get our ideas out or anything. We just like have our own preferences and that. And, you know, but that's not to say that that's like a prerequisite formula. There's always yeah, like... There'll be variations on different songs, but for the most part, we kind of stick to fortes, you know, and work within that because it's what's easiest for us. When we, when we work on songs, we kind of do it as we go along. We'll kind of start out with a bunch of samples and kind of put stuff along as we go rather than sit down and do all the sound design first and then go from there. We usually just do it as we go. It's like an ongoing thing throughout, throughout the whole year. Whenever I hear something that's interesting or that, you know, might transpire into something that we're doing, then, you know, I, I either, like, put it on the digital tape or, you know, buy, buy, buy the actual product and keep it. And, of course, you know, then you always have to make sure everything is sample clear, you know, proof. And, but usually a lot of times we really just like to change things to the point of like you don't even know what it is from the original sample and that so uh, but it's like an ongoing thing I think all year long you know whenever I hear anything or same with Reese you know we, we collect things as we go along you don't just do it all at one time and the more music we do and the more different projects that you know we're involved in and uh the more I think, you know, musically we grow with our ideas, you know, and uh, I think the more that leaves open to different interpretations as to using live drummers, using live guitarists. I think it, at the end of the day, the best, of course, is to uh, amalgamate them all and uh, use them all in different various ways, and then that way you don't repeat yourself, and that way, you know, I think you're creating new sounds and ideas. Yeah, we've kind of, we're getting to the point now where the programming just sometimes isn't satisfying enough. Yeah. And it makes it more exciting when you can bring in much more real elements, because we've been dealing with synthetic elements for, well, like, a, a while. Ten years. And it makes it more exciting, like with our Millennium album, I think it kind of just was refreshing for us to use guitar and stuff, because it added kind of an excitement and kind of like some kind of uncharted territory, you know, so it makes it more interesting. <sighs>
the human hearts that I've taken into hell. The human hearts that I've taken into hell. Frontline.
When we play live, we want to play live. We don't want to be like two guys up there with a keyboard and a down player. Because that is what, what a lot of electro bands do. And it's just, I just don't think it. The main problem with a lot of these bands is the, the live aspect. It always seems to be a little lacking. And, and when we we're playing live, we are playing live. And, you know, there's some stuff on tape which is, you know, machine driven anyway that's impossible to play. But we try and keep that to as much of a minimum as possible concentrate more and just try to reproduce everything actually like well live like it's supposed to be that's why it's called playing live so yeah i mean i, I guess every every band is it like totally different and I, I don't think i would feel personally comfortable getting up there and just miming miming you know the whole thing and i think you gotta you gotta you gotta sweat and you gotta hurt and you, and you got it's gotta be too loud and it's gotta be that whole making line, mistakes you know? is okay you know yeah. it's live right and i think that's the best part to be in the world seeing the band, you know, it's like feeling that vulnerability, like, hey, this guy could make a mistake and everybody will hear it, you know what I mean? So, I think there's something to be said for that. Plus, we're trying to push our music to, like, a new level, you know, like, I think we've always been, I mean, not us, but this whole genre of music has always been tagged, like, you know, this is, like, music made from machines and it's too rigid and it's not real music, and I think that's crazy, you know? I think we're always fighting that, you know, and so I think when we play live, I mean, this is this is probably the best way for anybody who's a doubter, you know, to uh, to see that, you know, there's a lot more involved than just, you know, one particular machine, a sample or anything. And you know, I think there is a lot of live elements, and I think when they all work together, I think they're just a bit more interesting than just a live man. So I think the trick is to be able to use all of it, you know. We think about it sometimes, we think about what we're going to do on the next record and I think the front line, we, we're a technology based band and we always like to fully exercise that and try and make it, you know, the most sort of high tech sounding kind of atmosphere we can create because that's kind of what we've always tried to do and so that, that aspect will definitely always be there. And uh, I think now we're, 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 we're incorporating a lot of elements as well. but. I think we're just becoming better at incorporating than we were before. Before it was more like just limited to samples, and now we're actually starting to become more in involved with like live recordings with the machines and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I think we probably have to get even a bit more specialized in what we're doing too, because I think this whole techno movement has really uh, saturated you know, the whole market. Uh, is, you know, disco and all this shit, and it's just like, it's all using all these elements and, and using the latest and the best technology, so in some aspects, it's going to become harder and harder for for bands on the forefront to push the envelope and, and, and recreate new ideas because everybody else is just trying to cash in on the same thing, you know, like, in a commercial way, and that in, in turn brings down a lot of this cool element that bands like us have brought into it.
started probably with more like bands like Fat Gadget and Killing Joke and Wire and Joy Division and then you know like that sort of transcended into more of the the test department you know Neubot is you know industrial era you know mixed with the technology part you know and I think that and uh, portion control all, all that kind of music I think craft work you know I think all that those were all the right elements and ingredients you know there was there's probably too many to mention there was a lot more weird things too you know that like were even if I mentioned them you know, it wouldn't make much point because they're unheard of but I think in that definitely in that genre I think that's when that, that's when that whole movement sort of really took off and was really still on the ground so like the early 80s yeah. late late well yeah early 80s you know, I mean you had guys like Cabaret Voltaire and Throbbing Russell like in 1978 doing gigs together in London, in these dingy little underground places, basically with, for no admission. You know, I mean, those are all like forefathers of all of this stuff now that like, you got guys like Trent selling, you know, millions of records and making a good living. And but I think all these guys were, you know, the guys that originally started the whole thing and don't have much to show for it except having, you know, having the word legend maybe beside their names. We have, we have a concept with, with each, uh, you know, record, and I, I think, uh, like, per se, Hardwire is, is, is mostly the relevance of, you know, like, man versus technology, and uh, in the theme of, like, you know, we basically are destroying the planet with technology, but yet it's the only thing that can save us, and I think it's the, the, the contrast of those two which also evolve into our social situations in life that, you know, create what we are and what we are creating, you know, for the future. And I think it's all of that that probably transpires into all the lyrics and hardwire, you know. Every time we do each song, I think we're trying to look at a bit of a new angle of, of how to do something without following any real obvious trend. And, and uh, I think plasticity, you know, is, is like a really hard driven techno song, probably as, 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 as techno as, as we're going to get.
state of the art structural capabilities, commanded by a unique combination of software and organic system. Commanded by a unique combination of software and organic system.
party in here now. Zero. <laughs>